I'm sorry I couldn't join you tonight in our call. Uh, I'm looking forward to going through and analyzing and responding to everybody's papers. And again, I'm just sorry for missing out on the call tonight. Due to the unforeseen circumstances of the world, I've had to pick up an extra job um, that's usually during the week at night. So I'm doing that. I wanted to talk really briefly about my paper and just give an overview of why I chose my topic. I did pick a topic of self-awareness for the mentee coming from the mentor. So my last paper that I wrote was also on self-awareness, but that was more focused on how the mentor can become self-aware, whereas this paper was more focused on what the mentor can do to help the mentee to become more self-aware. I find that in this world that we live in, um, and I didn't mention this in my paper because I didn't really find where it, it could fit in there in like an academic type of way. But it seems to me that I come across a lot of people who are unsatisfied with their current career. And then that's why my students pick the career of massage therapy. It is typically a second career by an older student. That's why I initially got into adult education because I was so aware that most of my students were not the traditional 18 year old college student. I also think with the climate of today, everything from Black Lives Matters to just more awareness in general of people's feelings, people's cultures, the way that different socioeconomic societies pertain to each other. There is such a lack of self-awareness, but also coming right now to the surface and really bubbling up in front of us is people becoming more self-aware of their actions and taking initiative to educate themselves to learn where they may have fallen short when it comes to like biases, prejudices, racism, whatever the case may be. And once we start to recognize that within ourselves, we can make change. But if we're not aware that there is a problem or something that we can enhance, then we're not going to do that. We're just going to continue on with whatever pattern that we're doing. Um, change is inevitable, but we all know that it's not easy to change habits that we've created, maybe even things that have been passed down generationally. So by taking a really deep dive into how our mentors and how we as mentors can enhance and improve and even maybe for the first time shed light to self-awareness for our mentees. Um, so just really quickly, I touched on spirituality, communication, and technology and how those three facets can be implemented in the mentorship relationship to bring about self-awareness. Obviously, these are all things that the mentor is us, is we can do too, but these are really focused on shedding that light and awareness to our mentee so that they can have more understanding of their own selves, their own personality, the things that they do, their traits, things like that. So I just wanted to say a couple of things that I, again, like I did not go deep into the meaning of this in my paper, but I think it's important for all of us to know like why I chose this topic and that it's I just see a lot of people that don't seem fulfilled in their own life. They're always reaching towards the success and they're like, I'm going to be happy when I graduate, when I have that successful career, when da da da. So I want my mentees to have a clear understanding of what success means to them, how they're going to achieve it, um, the resources, the tools, the things like that, that they need to achieve the success. But I want them to have that self-awareness, that understanding of what makes them happy, what makes them feel like they are serving a purpose in this world. Um, maybe it's because I'm in the healthcare realm that a lot of people get in 
to massage or, or whatever the case is because they like to help other people. So like that's getting to that root cause of what defines your purpose in life, okay? Making other people happy or healthy is what makes you happy, which is great. And it's so nice to see students find that. However, I don't think the majority of students are even aware of their own spirituality, their own connection, like a deeper sense of meaning. So if we can encourage as mentors, our students or whoever we're mentoring to find that self-awareness of what makes you happy, what's your definition of success, what's your greater purpose, then they can start doing that right now. And they don't have to worry about, okay, when I get a job, then I will be successful and then I can be happy. I've just never found that that's like a really good equation or a good order to find happiness. Whereas if you're really aware from the beginning, what makes you happy? What is your purpose? What are life events that have altered or changed your meaning um, in life for you? So if we can create that narrative, create that sacred safe space for our mentees, then I really do think that they will have a lifetime of success, of happiness, of finding purpose. But it all comes down to being self-aware to even know what those things are. I know I didn't start asking myself questions like that until I was in my later 20s. And at that point, I was already pretty established in my career. I have no regrets. I don't think things would have been much different. But I just wonder, you know, how many people could be impacted by just getting really honest with themselves about who they are, what makes them happy, what gives them purpose, and then, you know, finding a career based on that. Um, so I, I think that's a good role for us as mentors to play. I think it's pretty heavy and deep. Um, I think we need to use good use of our boundaries I talk a lot about spirituality in my paper. I've talked about that in the past in here. I do just think that, you know, once people find that deeper connection, that deeper meaning, it doesn't necessarily have to be religion. Um, spirituality is really just, you know, honoring who you are and being connected to all things. So when people have a better understanding of that and of themselves, are they going to be more understanding of other people, of other cultures, of other religions, of other, you know, whatever it is, if they have a better understanding of themselves? I know for my own example, uh, I look back on my past and some of the things like I did in my youth and I'm just like, I would never do that now. Um, but I give myself a lot of grace to think, well, you know, I hadn't gone through this experience or that experience. And that's, you know, why I did what I did at that time, because I really wasn't even the person that I am now. Uh, you know, I think of that a lot as a younger kid. I do remember there were times that I would like bully other kids and I could get really upset with myself for doing that, but I also think of, you know, I didn't grow up with necessarily, like, the best influence always. Um, I was hurting as a little kid. Having a single mom raise me, I was always kind of, like, looking for that fatherly figure. Um, and so maybe that is why I was acting out and doing some of the bullying, because then would that lead me to being reprimanded by, like, this masculine, you know, principal type figure or something like that. So I start to think about that stuff and I give myself a lot of grace. And I do the same thing now with my students. When I cannot fathom why they would do something, I put myself in their shoes. I put myself in that situation. Um, and it gives me a lot more grace for them, a lot more understanding. So my hopes with all of this is that if we mentor our mentees to be more self-aware, is that in turn going to make them more accepting individuals? Is that going to help them find happiness within themselves? Um, and ultimately, you know, 
hopefully it gets that retention, that graduation rate to that we all want, um, or at least that we want in our in our state SUNY system. So, so yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to talk on. I know this is only supposed to be about five minutes and it's 10. Um, so sorry about that. I hope everybody has a good rest of your summer. Stay safe and healthy. And it was a pleasure working with you all.